Hi, this is Dawn with 7 is Enough. Today we're going to talk to you about Fort Scott, Kansas. We went on Memorial Day and all of these flags that they put out represent fallen service men and women. They also had a touching Memorial Day service. Fort Scott's uh, ran by the National Park Service, so it's a historic site. It is free to go to and the kids loved it. If you want to teach your kids history that they are going to remember because they're there experiencing it, this is a fantastic day trip to take. There's a lot more history here than uh, what I'm telling you in this video. Due to a technical issue, I didn't get about 70% on video or through pictures of what they have here. Fort Scott was established in 1842 uh, to make peace between the settlers and the Indians. By 1853, it was abandoned. By 1855, it was sold at auction and people bought the different buildings and it became a very volatile center point of the town where on one side there was a hotel that the abolitionist and the free staters stay in and the other side of town um, on the square was a hotel where the pro-slavery people stayed um, there was a lot of battling back and forth between um, the three groups by 1861 um, kansas joined the union in january and by april the civil war started Started. So this fort was taken back, more buildings were built, and it became a major uh, depot for supplies for the Union Army. Make sure you check out their website before you go. Last time we went, they were doing reenactments, so the kids were able to see a Union soldier doing his daily duties. Thing in the Civil War back matter where they were talking um, about Richmond. More. Hold on, so, look so depleted of supplies that they began printing the newspaper on the back of wallpaper. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Wow! All of these buildings are something different. Hospitals. Sleeping quarters. Ammunitions. So that's the prison. Fort Scott is about an hour and a half west of Kansas City. Um, if you go there, make sure to ask a local where the lavender field is. If it's in bloom, it's a beautiful site and it's only a couple miles from the fort. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, we'd love to have you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, we would love to have you subscribe and hit that bell and you will get notifications when we release new videos. God bless you. We hope you have a fantastic week.